Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 RPOD 193. First thing I want to jump into on, with you guys on this particular trailer is the overall length and weight here. So what we're looking at from about pin to bumper length here is about 23 feet. And when you start looking at the weight of this, the dry weight is roughly around that 3,800 pounds dry. And the nice thing with that is, is if you have that, you know, mid-size SUV or a larger SUV or even a half ton truck, you're going to be more than capable of pulling this into any campsite you like. So one of the big things that we love to talk to our customers about with our pod is the style of construction that you get out of the brand. So what we have here is a complete aluminum framing and block foam insulation, which is called a pinch roll product. So this is awesome because it's a solid wall throughout on, e on both sides and even into the back. They also do that aluminum framing into the roof and into the floor, and they even add that vacuum bonding, or sorry, the pinch rolling into the flooring there with the insulation, so it's a lot lighter, but it also keeps the floors warm. The other big thing that we love to talk about with our pod is the style of suspension that you have on this. This is an independent rubber ride suspension, so it completely eliminates that leaf spring suspension style that you see on a lot of older trailers. Your big benefits here is it gives you independence, so if you're going off-road or if you hit a pothole on the highway or something like that, it's going to track much better behind your vehicle. The other side of it is the rubber ride suspension in there eliminates vibrations from passing back inside your trailer, helping keep everything protected over the years of use. The one thing that you will see with this particular product too with our pod is going back to that construction. We love to talk about Asdell. This particular trailer is built with Asdell, which means that the wallboard in behind the fiberglass has been changed out from the old wood Luan material and into a composite wallboard now. And what that gives you is a lot lighter construction. It gives you moisture wicking in behind the walls, so less chance of water damage. And of course, it's environmentally friendly too, so why not use it in your trailer? Now, one thing I do want to point out too here is this is a Hood River Edition R-Pod. So one of the really cool things you get out of that is an actual little bit of a lift so you have some better ground clearance and a 15 inch off-road mud tire. Let's have a look at the, uh, some of the exterior features here. So starting up at the very front of the trailer, our pod is going to give you a power tongue jack on this particular model. That makes it so much easier when you get to your campsite for unhooking the vehicle and then of course when you're ready to leave, you can hook it up just as quick. And it's a simple push of a button here, you even have an outside light so if you're trying to hook up in the dark, you can always see what you're doing. Just behind that, you're going to have a 20 pound propane tank here and behind the propane tank, you have enough space for a dual battery setup. Here at Rangeland, we provide you with a single battery right off the get-go, but if you do want to upgrade to that dual battery, just let us know. Now, speaking of batteries, there is a very cool feature that our pod just introduced on their trailers, and that's called the battery disconnect. It's just down on the side here. This is a nice little touch because when you're done using your trailer for the weekend or something like that, you don't necessarily have to pull your batteries off of the trailer. You can hit that switch and it eliminates any kind of draw coming from those batteries. Follow, your, uh, follow me around this side here and we'll talk about some of the cool features. Now, like you can see, you have a beautiful pass-through storage compartment on the 193 here and that stretches right through to the other side. One of the little details that I do like to point out too with this storage door for an example is the magnetic uh, latches. So these are great because a lot of times over the years you'll see those little plastic ones when you put your door up it'll actually break that plastic hinge off and then you have no way of holding that door. This is a nice simple system and of course those little details make a huge difference with your trailer over the years. As we move our way along, you'll have your water connections here and of course your slide out. Now this slide out is pretty cool because this is actually a Schwinn Tech slide. Now when I say that, that means that this is a four corner gear track system which pushes and pulls the slide evenly from all four corners. A big benefit that you get out of a Schwinn Tech 2 is if you do have any kind of alignment issues, you can bring the slide in, in and out three times and it'll actually readjust that slide for you. Follow me back this way. As we're going by, you'll notice all the windows on an R-Pod are tinted. They even have the slide topper attachments here. So if you want to add something like that, just let us know here at Rangeland and we can set you up. You'll have your outside, or sorry, you'll have your um, hot water tank here. And this is a six gallon quick recovery hot water tank. It's actually the same size that you would see on most larger trailers or fifth wheels. Now, keep in mind too, this is only a 23 foot trailer. We've already seen that you have a front pass through storage compartment and now you even have an additional compartment in the back here just underneath the bunk. So as we look underneath this trailer, you'll notice something really cool too. There's actually a full enclosed underbelly on here. So it helps keep things a bit warmer and protected. Your power cord is on the back side here and it's a detachable power cord too. So you're not worried about any rodents climbing inside through a small hole. And on the very back, you'll have a ladder 
This is a very unique feature for this style of our pod um, because they haven't, un they don't necessarily put a uh, ladder on all of your floor plans. So this is a nice feature to have to get up on top, make sure your roof seals are always doing good and whatnot. Um, you'll have a pre-wire for a backup camera here too, and of course your full-size 15-inch spare on the back. Um, all the lighting that you'll see on the exterior is LED, so you're not worrying about burning out those incandescent bulbs all the time. And then as we work our way to the front, you'll have a full power awning with an LED light strip underneath too. So this awning is very simple, push a button and it comes out. And then just below that, you have some really nice outside speakers. And at the very bottom, your outside grill here, which has a quick connect for the propane right off of your main tank. So you're not carrying those small little bottles. One little feature that I do want to talk about also just on my right side here is you have a quick entry spray port where you can simply hook up um, a sprayer to this and it gives you high pressure. So if you have any toys along with you, it's nice and easy to spray those things down and put them away clean. And of course, right beside that, you'll have your black tank flush. And for those who aren't familiar with what a black tank flush is, this is a spot where you can simply plug in a fresh uh, a garden hose and completely rinse down the inside of your sewer tank. So you have those nice clean dipsticks in there, you get accurate readings, plus you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you go and flush your toilet. toilet. Now, as we look at the, uh, the new door on this R-Pod, you've seen it on a couple of different products, but now R-Pod's using it too. This is that really nice black glass door. Really cleans up the look, like I always mention on all the trailers here. And of course, you have the oversized grab handle to get in there nice and easily. That pretty much wraps up the outside. Let's jump inside and have a look at some of the cool features. So first thing you'll notice when you come inside this R-Pod here, for a 23-foot trailer, there is a ton of space. And that's mainly due to the actual way this floor plan is set up and the slide out. Talking about the slide out now too, like you can see, you have a nice couch in here. This will actually break down into an additional bed if you want. You have a full movable table, so this can go inside or outside the trailer. And the cabinetry all the way around, even down to the side here, gives you a bunch of extra storage. Talking about the cabinetry too, when we open this up, you'll see it's very well appointed stuff. It's not that cheap a paperboard style material that you always see. And they even give you these nice little drawers in here, which are full ball bearing extension drawer glides. And of course, you have that solid plywood in here as well. Little details to mention too, while we're looking at the slide, if you look at the windows, they actually do a nice pleated nightshade. This is great because a lot of trailers in this size category, you always see those cheap tin blinds that always get bent and broken over the years. So this is a nice little touch that our pod does. Let's jump over to the kitchen now. So looking at the kitchen here, they do a really, really nice job. Always, our pod has always done their kitchens very well. And that's mainly because you'll look at the appliances here for an example. You have a big tubless, uh, tub stainless sink here with a high rise faucet. This is great compared to a lot of competitors that like to use plastic, which can crack or melt easily. And of course, beside it, you'll have a nice two burner cooktop with a uh, tempered glass cover. So it gives you more counter space, but also really cleans the look up. Underneath here, you're gonna have your convection microwave. Big benefit of having a convection microwave in here is generally you'd see an oven, but with an oven, it takes up a ton of storage. So this gives you best of both worlds, microwave and oven. And of course they give you a range fan above that too. Now to finish off the kitchen, you'll see you have a nice big fridge here with the stainless front. This is a six cubic foot gas and electric fridge. So if you wanna take your trailer out dry camping for the weekend, not to worry, you can still operate this on propane. And of course, if you're at a campsite, you can simply plug it in, it's gonna operate just as good too. Underneath your fridge, you have a really cool new feature for the art pods, and this is your vac system here. It eliminates from you having to bring a broom with you, and of course, if you do bring a broom with you, you even have the little sweep port here, which is really, really nice. So helps keep things nice and tidy in your trailer. Just beside that, you'll have your, uh, your forced air furnace here. And above that, another spot for storage. I can't stress enough the amount of storage in a small trailer like this. Now, like you can see on my left side here, as we work our way back, you have bunk beds in this trailer. So they do a nice fixed ladder in here. Your bunk beds are also a teddy bear mattress, so they're much warmer, more comfortable for whoever may be sleeping in here. Plus they even give you a nice light in each of them so that everybody kind of has their own little area and plugins. Now let's quickly look at the bathroom here before we uh, turn around and check out the bedroom. As you go into the bathroom, you'll notice it's a beautiful foot flush toilet there. They have some extra storage in the corner, so if you want to put some towels in there and things like that, you're not, a sh uh, you're not short for space. And then of course, your massive shower here. This is an awesome feature to have, especially in a small trailer like this. They give you a big plastic surround, so you're not damaging the wallpaper with water. 
and there's a cool shower miser in here. And if you're not familiar with what that does, it helps circulate the water through your hot water tank, allowing you to save that water and heat it quicker. It's a very, very cool feature. And of course, to top off the bathroom just above your head there is a fantastic fan. So if you're big into that dry camping, you may not have the opportunity to use your air conditioner, but not to worry, you can always cool your trailer down with that 12 volt high powered fan. Now, that pretty much wraps up the backside. Follow me up front here because there's a really, really cool feature with this 193, and that's this Murphy bed system. So like you can see here, you do have a couch, but after some little simple con <coughs> conversions, you can easily turn this into a bed. So like you see, I pulled the cushions off there. This mattress, or sorry, couch actually flips flat. And like you can see, more additional storage underneath here again. Once I have this couch flat, there's a small pin over here that I simply release. And that allows this to go flat, which we can now pull the mattress down. And now you have a queen size bed inside this small trailer. It's a very, very nice feature to have because keep in mind, we're only 23 feet and now you have a full bed here. You have a couch that can go down into a bed. You have two bunks. So there's plenty of sleeping space for the whole family inside this 193. That pretty much wraps it up here today, guys, in this R-Pod. If you have any questions, please don't be shy to give us a call or come down to the dealership and have a look for yourself. Um, once again, give us a shout. Ask us about our RV show pricing that's going on right now. And again, I'm Ty the RV Guy. Thanks for watching and happy camping.